Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mark here, back at you with another video. And for this week's video, I want to talk about des choses qui m'énervent à propos de parler deuxième langue. I speak French as a second language, and even though I love knowing how to speak a second language, I've definitely had some annoying moments that I think any of you guys who speak a second language can 100% definitely relate to. So, let's get into it. So the first thing that annoys me about speaking a second language, and the thing that probably annoys me the most, is when you finally go somewhere where you can finally practice speaking this language you've learned all these years, and then this happens. Bonjour, est-ce que vous êtes prêt à commander? Oui, je vais prendre le uh, steak s'il vous plaît, avec juste un verre de revoir. Uh, yes, and uh, how do you like your steak? Medium, s'il vous plaît. Yes, I'm talking about that dreaded moment where whoever you're talking to detects the accent in your voice and knows that whatever language you're speaking is your second language and they immediately switch to talking to you in your native language, which in my case is English. This annoys me so much because here's the thing. I spent my entire life learning how to speak French as a second language, like literally my entire life but I never get to practice it because I live in a mostly English speaking area. The only times I get to use it are if I speak to my mom since French is her first language and we sometimes speak French to each other or if I'm visiting my mom's family because they all speak French too. Other than that, I scarcely get the opportunity to speak French with anyone outside of my family so I always love the opportunity to speak French with other people. So when they immediately switch into English upon hearing my accent, it's just a little annoying because it's like, come on, I've spent 20 plus years learning this language and this is when I get to use it, so please keep speaking to me in French. And you know, I get it. Like, I see it from another perspective, too. Like, maybe whoever it is that switched in English on me is learning English as their second language, and they want the opportunity to practice it with me since they know I speak it as my native language. So in that sense, I can totally understand that. But the thing is, the sense this mostly happens in restaurants and other service industry places, they will have plenty of customers and other people to practice English on who only speak English as their first language. I, on the other hand, won't have other people to practice my French on, so I just wish they would keep talking to me in French. If I wanted them to speak to me in English, I would have started talking to them in English or asked them if they speak English, but I didn't, so I just wish they would keep talking in French. Like, I started it. And you know, I get that they're trying to be courteous and everything, but it's just annoying to me. It's just like, what was the point of me spending all this time and energy over my life learning how to speak French if no one will speak to me in French. Okay, that's enough of that one. Next. The second thing that's annoying about speaking a second language is when you're speaking it to someone else and they constantly interrupt you and cut you off to correct you. Straight up, you'll be trying to tell someone a story and then they do this. And then I, uh, I got in the automobile and... Uh, you mean the car. Uh, sorry? It's just a little thing. You said automobile, which is correct, but the more common word in English for that is car. So I'm just letting you know for future reference, but keep going. Uh, okay. So I got into car and the instructor got in and I begin to test. Oops, sorry, just another little correction. You said begin instead of began. Began is in the past participle and is the correct use of that if you're saying something in the past. So just making sure you know for future reference, but continue on, I'm listening. Okay, so I got into car and began the test and noticed that no the Noticed, with a D at the end, not notice. Also in the past participle, keep going. Can you just let me speak? Ignore my awful English as a second language accent I had during that skit, but oh my god, this is the story of my life. Anytime I'm speaking to someone who speaks French as their first language. And again, I get that they're trying to be courteous by correcting me anytime they can and they're just trying to help me. But it's just so annoying telling a story to someone and just getting cut off every two seconds because they're nitpicking the mistakes you keep making when you speak. Just let me talk. You can correct me after, but just let me talk. Because every time you interrupt me, it cuts off my train of thought and eventually I'll just forget what I'm talking about. Which maybe is the point, come to think of it. They don't like my boring stories. Yep, I've just figured it out. <laughs> the third annoying thing about speaking a second language is when you awkwardly forget a word when you're in the middle of trying to speak a sentence to someone. Example. So I went to the mall and bought a really nice... Ah, c'est quoi le mot? Um, uh, how, how do you say chandai in English? Oh, a... Uh, a, a a sweater? No, no, not a, not a sweater, a, uh, oh, like, uh, uh hold on. Siri, comment tu dis chandail en anglais? Garlic field. Oh, yes, 
Okay, so I went to the mall and bought a really nice garlic field that I love. Um, are you sure that translated correctly? If you speak French, you'll probably get that joke. But this happens to me all the time when I'm trying to tell a story in French to someone and it's just so awkward because it ruins the flow of the sentence and the story and you're just awkwardly standing there like, how do I say this word? And yeah, it's just, it's the worst. I just wish I could like download a second language into my brain directly so that these awkward moments don't happen because if you speak a second language, these moments are bound to happen at least a few times. And lastly, the fourth annoying thing about speaking a second language is when people do this. Wait, you speak French? Uh, we? Oh cool, tell me something in French. Well, what would you like me to say? I don't know, just say something. Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Marc. Oh, come on, not that. I know what that means. Tell me something else, come on. Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want me to say? Like, I can't just come up with complex sentences on the spot. Like, give me something to say and then I will say it. I really don't get why people do this either because it's like, it's like it's for their own amusement or something and it's like, guys, like, speaking French or any other second language is not some mystic ability I acquired, like, you can learn it too. But yeah, it's just funny to me, it's like, what do you want me to say? Like, give me a sentence and then I will say it for you. Are you testing me to see if I can actually speak a second language or something? So yeah, with all that being said, say tu. I feel so good after that. I've needed to vent about that for so many years and it's finally out there. Thank you so much. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this rant and video and if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know do you guys speak a second language and could you relate to this? I, I, I know some of you out there could and I need to know so let me know in the comments below. As always, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links for that are down below and at the end of this video. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I post new videos every single Friday and you don't want to miss it. So hit that subscribe button right down below and I'll be doing a giveaway once I get to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost at 900 guys. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys next Friday for another brand new video. Au revoir!